Approximately 2,000 years ago, six interdimensional beings known only as the Anarchists created the foundation of magic and the powerful force it had over our universe. The embodiment of all magical power was made in the form of six colorful rings, each specially formed with the influence over the ancient elements – fire, earth, water, wind, light, and darkness. These objects would go on to become known as the Rings of Anarchy. When all six are gathered together, this would give the user an unbelievable, almost unlimited magical power. But this can also cause chaos, hence their name. Now, that being said, if we are to take what has been told to us as fact, then I believe I speak for everyone when I say our mission has become clear. Gentlemen, it's time to initiate Operation Anarchy. Oh no. No. It's happening again. <laughs> Hello? Hey! Remember me? Miku? Yeah, it's me. How you been, Kaito? I... I... I don't understand. How did you... Find you? Well, it wasn't that hard. I started thinking about you recently. I missed you, dude. Where have you been? Well, same place as ever. Not much has changed. You should know me by now. That's true. I finally got some free time to myself. I'm out of school for a while, and I decided to take a little trip. My flight just arrived in East City a few days ago, and I've been here ever since. And you thought you would just call me out of the blue and expect something to happen? Well, can you blame me? I've been stuck in England for the past four years. A girl can only take seeing Big Ben on her walk home for so long. <sighs> I suppose. Geez, calm down. You talk too much. Well, look. I'll be around. So if you ever want to... I don't know. Meet up at any point? You know where to find me. But for now, I gotta go. Oh. And by the way... Hmm? Someone's at the door. Okay, bye! Wait, what? Kaito, if you are reading this, it means this message had found you well, or as well as it can, all things considered. I know it's been a very long time, and I know this is very sudden, for the both of us, in fact, and for that, I am sorry. But I wouldn't have sent this to you for no reason. I bring you this message as summons. Something has come up. I need to see you as soon as possible. I can understand if you don't want to see me. And to be honest, you wouldn't be wrong for thinking so. But this issue is much greater than the both of us. And it must be both of us that averts this crisis. Should you ever respond to this, I urge you to find me when you can. I've made stay on the outskirts of the city. However, time doesn't wait, especially not for us. Thank you. I hope to see you soon. Sugaha.
I know you're here. I didn't try to hide from you. Of course, nothing gets past you, as always. It's been a long time, Kaido. I'm glad to see you again. Maybe it's been too long. Yes, I guess it has. You've gotten so big, I can't believe it. You look just like your mother, Kaito. If only she could see you now. Odd place for a reunion. Why did you call me here anyway? Saguha. It's happened again. What has? All of it. It's happening again. What's going on? As you know, our family has guarded the Six Rings for generations now. And of course, you were next in line before you... I know. Don't remind me. Right. Well, I've been having these... visions lately. <laughs> I didn't miss those. It's this recurring image of... the skies turning perpetually dark, continents crumbling apart, flags being risen high above the horizon. I believe someone is looking for the rings. What does this have to do with me? What do you mean? This involves you just as much as I. After you were gone, two of the rings were separated somewhere across the world. Two others remain in the same place they've been since the war. And the last one, I'm not sure. I needed your help. You were the only one I knew I could turn to. I didn't expect you to actually come here, so I don't even know where to go from here. Do you know who is looking for them? That kind of is where the problem lies. I'm not sure. What about the elders? I don't know. They cut off all communication with me after I left. What do you mean? Why? I left to find you. They called us both traitors and sought that I leave and never come back. I told them that as long as I found you, it wouldn't matter. That was nearly two years ago. You should have just let me be. It wasn't worth it. Don't you dare say that. This might have been the only thing I'd ever do that meant something. And now that the whole world could be in jeopardy, you're just going to say it's not worth it? I couldn't live with myself if anything happened to you. And why were you so worried about me to begin with? Oh, I know. You expect me to come home and take care of everything myself. Do all of you guys' dirty work, just like Mom did. How dare you! Your mother chose to go out there. She chose to protect our home. What did you choose to do, hmm? And look where she is now. She's somewhere in the ground, and so is that damn village. Nothing has changed, Saguha. Do you want to end up like her, then? Like the rest of them? I'm not risking your safety, but I'm not going to sit back and wait until everything crumbles beneath us. Fine. Then let me go. What? You just said it. I'm the next in line to be the Guardian. Let me find the rings myself. No, absolutely not. And why not? I told you, I'm not risking your safety. Our best bet is to return home and get help from the Elders. Even at home, I was never given a chance to do my part. Now we're both considered traitors to them. Do you really think they'll still listen to us? I can't let you do this alone. It's too great a responsibility. Listen to yourself. You know what I'm capable of. I'm 18 now. You can't shield this from me forever. What choice do I have? I promised Haruna I would protect you, even at the cost of my own life. Letting you go now would undo everything I've ever done. You're too important. I won't let you end up like all the others. What? Suguha, what happened to everyone else? In my vision, I saw the men looking for the rings. They wanted you. When they realized they couldn't find you, they killed them. All of those lives were lost for nothing. Kaito! Kaito, wait! I'm sorry. I realize now that maybe I was a bit selfish. I understand what you want. And I truly understand what we all need. You really are just like your mother. I can't hold you from your responsibility forever. Here. 
Is that... The yellow ring? I don't understand. Why did you change your mind? Because I can't change yours. Please be safe, Kaito. I believe in you. If you want to see your son again, you will do as I say.